Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to add any engine sound as native support to one of your truck mods for ATS. All you're going to need is Notepad++ and 7-Zip. Both are free and you can install them right from their website. Once they're installed, you want to come over here to your engine sound, right click it, go to 7-Zip and hit Extract to and then the file name. Now once that's done, you can open up this folder right click the sound folder, go to 7-zip, hit add the archive, come up here to the three dots, click on it, go to desktop or wherever your truck is that you want to add the sound to, click it, hit open, make sure that your archive format, in this case, uh, make sure it's zip file, and the compression level, you want to change this from whatever it is now to store. Then you hit OK. And once it's done compressing, it will be now inside of your truck mod. And now you can open up uh, your file once it loads for me. And if we verify, we can go over to the folder that we have, go to sound truck, and just verify that that sound got ported over correctly into the mod. Okay, that's good. Now we can come to the defs. So we can come up here to def, vehicle, truck, and you will get this entire list of whatever truck was added um, by the creator who made this engine sound mod. And you want to simply duplicate one of the folders. In this case, I'm going to take DOM 379, hit Control C, hit Control V. That will copy and paste it. Right click it once more, rename, and actually before you can rename it, you want to make sure that you know your def name, so you can verify it by going inside your SCS file for your truck. Go to def vehicle truck. Now this is your def name, so you want to rename this folder to whatever that name of your truck is. In this case it's Hayes. You can open this up, go to engine. And now you want to open up all these SII files and you do not have to worry about an SUI file. So just the SII files, right click it and hit edit with Notepad++. If you get the option of what would you like to open this file with, make sure you do Notepad++ just to make it uh, easier on you. Come up here to the middle name, which should be the same thing that the, um, the folder was named before highlight it, hit control F, go over to replace, and under replace with, you want to type in whatever name you want to replace it with. In this case, it's Hayes, it's already selected, so I don't need to do anything, and hit replace all in all open documents. That will take that name and bring it over to each file. As you can see, the red at the top indicates that it is updated and changed. Come up here to save all, close all and you can exit out of this. Now you want to come back to the truck directory where we are in the SES file. Take it and drag and drop it into your SES file. Select yes and you are done. Now if you open the game the um, in the truck dealer you will have the option now and uh, just don't forget to add in your material file which is just a simple drag and drop into your SES file. Now that is it. You can play the game now. You should have all your sounds, icons, and uh, you will no longer need to enable two different mods just to make one work. So hopefully this helped. If you have any questions, let me know and enjoy.